Hello, my Sock Universe. Last part for now. Uh, yeah, I think it will. Unless there is a whole swath of New Jersey re releases, will be the last one on Prime Premier League. I'm wearing Newcastle, which are the last team in this video. Uh, probably most of you were expecting that I will wear Chelsea, but honestly, I've given uh, so much Chelsea back there. Again, I have three Chelsea jerseys, three Liverpool jerseys from every other team I have won, so it's always bound to be a little bit unbalanced. No, black and white stripes, I cannot argue with that. It's just... and um, so... Newcastle it is, but we will start with Chelsea before... Quickly, how did I align the teams? I took last season's tables, split it in part of fours, and then out of each part I chose one team little bit jambling around basically that's how it is so then I ordered them alphabetically we'll start with Chelsea and Chelsea has a new sponsor three and there has been lots of discussion over it should it be just the word mark or should it be the logo which is kind of wild and which we know from Ireland jerseys I honestly have to say it doesn't bother me all that much because for soccer jersey and number on the front I know it's national teams uh, it barely looks all right, it's just a little bit too big. Yes, the, the pure word mark probably would have looked more elegant, that's for sure. And this is where elegant, this is supposed to be inspired by London fashion or whatever. I don't like this Chelsea jersey, I say right off the bat. It has a certain metallic feel to it, you know, and uh, a away jersey even more. Uh, it just doesn't look right to me, uh, to be honest. It doesn't look right, simply because I'm expecting a Chelsea jersey to feature a little bit of white and you know uh, all the Chelsea jerseys that I have are blue and white. Here we have this uh, black or navy in there <sighs> It already cheapened the look. I have to say the color low looks right, I don't like the tip on, on the back. And then the pattern, I think leave it just for once plain blue. I know everyone can fake it but leave it plain blue. But this uh, <laughs> patterns, you know, it looks like this um, metal sheet. Oh. It's not a good look. It, I'm sorry. I, I, the moment this came out, I did not like it. I, it's the black or navy on the side and then this weird pattern in there. And then, you know, full color crest, yay, but uh, does it fit on this jersey? No, it doesn't. Design clue. Make the jersey fit the crest, not the crest fit the jersey. Just my opinion. <sighs> it's not horrible, four stars. Uh, as I said, the away jersey, light blue is already, okay, it provides calm, contrast, but then it's really, it, it, it amps up the black effect. It also has this weird color with Liverpool where the back side goes like this, which looks like a front, I mean, uh, it's like your head looks like your ass on the other way around. Never a good look. Never, ne never a good look. And it has the same pattern, it has the same metal, metallic feel. And you know, when I say metal, I'm a, I like to listen to metal, so that makes it or, or it look cooler. So I, I, I'm avoiding that. But it has this kind of uh, steely effect to it that doesn't fit to Chelsea, in my opinion. So, no, I. I it's decent, but again, specs and this pattern, I, I just don't like it. And then, um, yes, you make the crest monochromatic, but again, you make the crest fit on the jersey, not the jersey fit to the crest. And yeah, I am sorry. I, on, on the three stars, the color is all right, but it, it doesn't say Chelsea to me. I think if this was a Uruguay jersey, I would look at this completely differently. Uh, and there, there would be a proper number three on there. And then, uh, I think it's the first real example of how Nike is going to mess up the third kids this season. WTF, what is this? Uh, I think the, the kindest thing I've heard, heard about this looks like a Crystal Palace uh, jersey. I know that Chelsea had something like that a long time ago, but not with that gradient. And then... Uh, I really hate how the shoulders they go the blue then it's kind of purple pinkish and then goes all I mean I, I think the color is even more pink than a red this is awful I think and you know these are Nike Air Max inspired which this is where you lose me I think the previous ones uh, uh, there was the one with the 
with the map on there, which were garish, but uh, at least there was some reference there that I really liked, and I'm a geo freak. Uh, last season's third churches, they had some retro feel to it. Always a good idea. Sneakers, converting them into jerseys? No. Give me a break. I'm gonna dish out the first one star. Here. Just... Uh, I think uh, even the yellow-blue umbro shirt, which probably brought the inspiration, that one I actually like much, much better because it fits with the times. This does not fit with the times. It's just hor horrible and on the back, yeah. Forget about that one. Let, let's move on to happier times because Everton for the first time with Hummel and Hummel have issued a really nice kit. Uh, when I first saw it I was not so sold on the top part although I know this is this kind of classic Hummel look that we had on Spurs but I have to say is having seen those in match those are darn fine looking jerseys. Simplicity wins here in this case the chevrons make it look nice you have enough white specks on there you know the sleeve cuffs and and so on that make, 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 make it look good the sponsor just kazoo is fine and then i have to say this um diag diagonal pattern actually creates some interest on this jersey um i know that an everton jersey is among those that should be coming maybe not top 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 of my list but you know depending on how the team does there will be a lot of fine players, especially James Rodriguez, Alan also be playing in there. This is befitting of having uh, Carlo Ancelotti as, as, as a manager. The look is befitting the team they're trying to build now. Um, the Everton crest still I think is a little bit too busy. I know they hate it just the tower and I understand why, but um, it's decent. But I honestly, I would probably get, get rid of the laurel wreaths. My personal opinion, I know Everton fans love those. But yeah, I think this is a really fine jersey. And uh, whatever I've said, I've said about the crest, I have to say this is probably the best looking jersey of this year's Premier League season. I'm giving this nine stars. The away jersey, I actually think Again, yellow would be perfect. I said it before, I read it and I totally agree. Yellow makes a great away kit. Um, there's not much, even the color looks here, <laughs> agree. This is also a nine star look. Really, Everton, bravo for your two jerseys here. Uh, the only one where you lose me is with the mint green. Mint green, did, but this was a trend two seasons ago. Or one season ago, no, one season ago. Arsenal stars, sorry, two seasons ago. La, 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 this is mint green. Um, there you lose me a little bit. I know it does make some wattish sense, but here I would have liked to see a white kit, the mint green and the color scheme have nothing to do with Everton. And so I retract my bravo from, from before because I give this only four stars. Here you completely lose me, but the first two, some of the finest kits we'll ever see this Premier League season. Fulham. Uh, I have to say, this one surprised me because this is the Adidas template that we already saw with Sheffield United uh, and I think Wo and Wolves. Um, but I have to say, this is the best application of it. Uh, I don't like necessarily the shoulder uh, yoke thing, but here for Fulham, it looks perfect. It really looks perfect. Maybe the collar is too thick, maybe the sleeve cuffs are too thick. This was what Nike tried to do uh, earlier in the 2010s. Uh, now Adidas is picking up on it, but I have to say, this jersey looks really is another really fine jer jersey and look how consistent everything is you have white you have black and then you have the ffc on the crest perfect you don't need more i know fully will not look good on the field but um playing but style wise kind of faulted nine stars uh the away jersey again yellow fits fine uh i find the template a little bit lacking imagination uh, and i don't know why yellow and white i don't think is a great combination uh it looks more like a goalkeeper jersey but overall it's all right i'm gonna give this five stars um leicester same template and i have to say i saw this at the end of the season i have to say i like the leicester jerseys from the previous uh, campaigns a little bit better because here again the template this uh, uh, this template is not my favorite i don't like this roundedness 
here it's too much shoulder yoke in in any way i know it tries to riff a little bit on the famous nike temp that and actually it achieves a little bit more by pulling it down but then it goes a little bit too much there so uh, it looks more like an american football look which is per se not bad but i have to say okay it's all more or less in one color although i think the shoulders are a little bit darker than the collar and the torso but where you a little bit lose me is the overdone sleeve cuffs um that's five stripes blue white gold white blue and i would be more right if there was a middle gold stripe here but it's a little bit too much i have to say uh that's but then again it the overall ensemble fits well together it's just that the template i think lets this one down i think this would look better in the one that i showed you previously if the yellow fulham was all blue and get a little bit golden in there i think this probably could look better still not a bad jersey good enough for eight stars but i think the template lets this one down and the a little bit busy sleeves the away jersey yeah Okay, we can discuss uh, whether we need gold here and blue here, but this is what I would have liked actually to see for Leeds. I think if Leeds were wearing those, I think we would be much, much happier. On, on, honestly, I actually like the diagonal striping pattern. And finally, we have again, this was a third jersey. This should be always an away jersey. Uh, white should, should, should be, should be uh, less as away color, and then they can go wild on their third jer jer jersey. Um, not too wild, as we will see, but... Is it a great jersey? No. Is it interesting? Sure enough. So I think we can give this a uh, six star. And I said for Leeds, I probably would go higher. And then, yeah, the third jersey, Thailand smiles with you. He 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 he. Maroon. As you please. Uh, I am not sold on that one, uh, to be frank. Uh, it, but then I. I'm actually happy that they use a different color than black because less than black does, doesn't look right to me. What would I like to see? Yellow, of course, because that or, or gold jersey. I think they had that would make sense. I think the worst thing about this one is the outline of the color stops somewhere in the middle, and then you know you have the, uh, the um, you have this really big white side panel with maroon three stripes, which. Mm, <laughs> It's more of a 90s look than a contemporary one, but you know, yes, maroon is not your color, and uh, for that, maybe only four stars. But it's not a bad church, as per se, but not one that will be knocking on the door of my collection. And then we'll end it with Newcastle. Um, this one reminds me of the one that was two seasons ago. Newcastle, I really like what Puma did here with the stripes. I think this is about as perfect as you can get with black and white stripes. It's the right width to me. Um, even, you know, maybe the um, uh, sleeves could also be striped, but uh, I'm fine with the all black look. Uh, I'm wondering a little bit about the silver cat there. That is, but you know, it's silver cat, it's not a black cat, so that's... Uh, fits in there um, and I actually think the sponsor although it's ugly because it's so uneven again get rid of the Chinese stuff and you have a decent sponsor or I have only the Chinese stuff but I would like the fun 88 a little bit more but um, you know not happy that it's blue but at least the blue matches with the crest so um, if that was a little bit more centered all right uh, you know if it was a little bit more um, symmetric the sponsor what i never get with newcastle i actually like a black and white jersey with red numbers is usually good but it should be a little bit on a, a solid background and it doesn't jive with the front of the jersey uh i understand newcastle has, has, has been doing this for a long time i probably th i probably think that white or black numbers are outlined with the other you know Black numbers outlined in white or white numbers outlined in black would look much better. The blue sponsor is a little bit of an eyesore. Uh, it fits on the front, um, but then with the red numbers on the back, that does not jive well with me. Um, and so, yeah, without the sponsor, I'm, I would give this high, high marks. You know, this is exactly what I'm looking for for my team. I, Lask is black and white stripes. 
uh, this way only seven stars. Uh, the away jersey, yes, it's yellow, a little bit different shade. Yes, yes, you have yellow. We have a Puma template pattern in there. Um, I hope this is black and not navy because I think with black it looks all right, uh, but it's black. No, it cannot be a black cat. It cannot be a black cat. This is navy. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Black would look better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, again, yellow. It's 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 not it's it's not my favorite Newcastle away away jersey. But Newcastle away jerseys are always a uh, strange pattern. I think the only one they should have is the maroon uh, navy horizontal stripe. That's the one that they should have, and forever and ever. Force uh, force. Now nah, I'm gonna give the three stars, and <laughs> yes. Okay, third jersey. In the preview, it looked, per yeah, purple triangles. This is so bad that it's already good again. Uh, it's almost a, I was about to say it's a reversal from the previous one, but it, it actually makes something more in interesting. I like, you know, again, this is a third jersey. It provides contrast and it has a very interesting striking pattern in there. I like the idea. I'm not sure I love the jersey, but I like the idea back there. And for that reason, I'm willing to give this seven stars. I like it much better than the jersey. We've done it. We go went through all 20 Premier League teams. If you've watched the whole thing, congratulations. Again, these are my personal opinions and judgments. Um, I will probably post after all this is over uh, the overall summary with an overall score for the Premier League, my Premier League jersey re review. Let's see how, how, how that will go. Uh, of course, I want to hear your opinion on that. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing and clicking the little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a wonderful day. Bye.